welcome back to my channel. My name is Primrose and what we're going to be doing today is something a little bit different. So as you guys will know, we've been in a pandemic for like two years. We've not been able to get out, we've not been able to travel and see the sights of the world like we used to. I recently also just recovered from Covid <coughs> and I had to isolate. It was really horrible, it sucked complete ass. However, we have something that is going to fix all of those troubles, it's gonna allow you to experience tastes and cultures without actually having to leave your house, which for my introverted ass is perfect. I was so very, very kindly gifted this. So this is Snack Surprise, and what this is, is basically it is a snack mystery box and the foods or goodies that are inside are from different places in the world each time. And I think that's just a, just such a fantastic idea. I mean, I love, love, love to travel, but it's been so difficult recently. So we have this bad boy and we get to try all the goodies inside today. And I'm gonna be doing a Q and A for you guys as well. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram, submit your questions. I picked out a couple of them that I really like. So make sure you do connect with me over on Instagram as well so you can keep up to date with everything that I've got going on. But without further ado, we're gonna open this amazing little box and try some goodies. I need to get some scissors. <laughs> So me and Blake, we recently went to Ikea and we got all the necessities that we had either misplaced, lost or thrown away. So I have brand new Ikea scissors. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna open it from this part here. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what country we got. Okay, you guys are gonna see before I do. How does it look? Does it look good? Okay, let's look. Ooh, so we got Bulgaria. This is obviously gonna help me learn my countries as well. It comes with this little booklet and it gives you facts about Bulgaria. This is so interesting. And it tells you everything that's included within your box. So they do have different tiers. So they have a mini box, a original box and a premium box. Oh, they give you a recipe. They give you a Bulgarian moussaka. Oh, and something sweet, because everybody knows I've got a sweet tooth. Amazing, and a crossword on the back. That's so fun. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. This is so cool. I just love this kind of stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one thing at a time, and then we're going to answer a question as well. So the first thing I got was this. I had no idea I'm becoming like a mukbang channel. This is cool. <laughs> oh, they kind of like, they look like what's-its. I don't know if you know what what's-its are, but if you're from the UK, you must know what what's-its are. Mmm, that's so like, that's so light and airy. It's very much the texture of what's it's without that like smash in the face cheese hit. That's so good. They taste really light, really like, they taste like they've got no calories in, which is dangerous. Mmm, those are so good. Okay, so this is Zayo Baye. <laughs> I'm gonna have terrible pronunciation. This is Zayo Bayo Paprika. It's delicious wheat snacks sprinkled with finely grounded roasted pepper. You won't be able to put these down once you start. Yeah, I can tell. These are so nice. They're so good. I can't even explain how like light they are in your mouth. Mm. And now for our first question. So, do you have any pets slash do you have any plans to get pets? Now, don't have any pets, unfortunately. I'm a very, very proud auntie to a lovely little pug, but I don't have any pets of my own. Me and Blake really, really want a dog, or at least two dogs, but because we love to travel so much, it's just it's just not fair to do that. Like, we can totally appreciate that we're not gonna have time for them. You know, we work quite a lot. We've got so much going on at the moment. We still really wanna travel and just have that freedom and, you know, it just wouldn't be fair to keep a pet in that kind of environment. And I'd also really love to have a reptile, so, I love geckos, I love snakes, I think they're really cool. I love bearded dragons. It'd be really cool to have a reptile, but again, just not just not feasible in our lives right now. So I'm more than happy to be a very, very proud auntie and borrow everybody else's pets and dogs um, until I can have my own. Okay, next thing in the box is this. The front reminds me of like Kim Possible. I don't know if you guys ever, <laughs> if you 
are from the UK and are my kind of age. I don't know if you guys ever watched Kim Possible when he was a kid, but like, this is just like her if she had red hair. So cool. This is Kubeti Tazaki. I don't think it's Tazaki because I know what that is, but I don't think it's that. Anyway, it's a truly tasty and unique Bulgarian snack. These wheat rye bread cubes have a flavorful taste of tzatziki. I don't know if that is how you say that, and that's what it is, but we will find out. Oh, they're tiny. They're tiny, tiny cubes. Look how tiny that is. Hmm. Oh, it was tzatziki. Mmm, that is a tzatziki flavor. That's so bizarre, because tzatziki is so like, it reminds me so much of cucumber. It's like so like a fresh taste. It's so weird to have it on bread. Mmm. That's so obscure. Yeah, it's so really, it's really weird. I don't know if I could eat a whole packet of these in one go, but these sprinkled on a salad, like Caesar, that's gonna pack such a punch. Amazing, I love those. And our next question is, what was the most challenging thing about doing the renovation? I mean, I'm still in progress, if you can't tell. I mean, there's a freaking wire just hanging down there. One wall's painted, one wall is not painted. We're still very much in the whole process of it. I think one of the most challenging things that I've found so far is we ripped everything out, literally. It was a start from scratch job. Some things had to be completely redone, and I really underestimated like how long it would actually take and how exhausting it would be like trying to organize everybody in terms of timings getting people in to do the work like them not having availability them letting you down them not being reliable like that whole thing has been so stressful and i really didn't appreciate how stressful it would actually be and how much work there was to do like throughout the initial stages of this house i was so laid back with it because i was like yeah it's gonna get done like it's absolutely fine and moving in day was coming closer and closer and closer and I still wasn't grasping like the gravity of how much there was to actually do. But we're at a much better place now. I'm really, really positive. We're, we're in a place where it's livable and you know, we're coping just fine and we're just chipping away at bits at our own pace and that suits us best, you know, it suits us just as we are. So we're happy and yeah, enjoying the process. Okie dokie, next item I have, ooh, ooh, milk and honey soft cake. That sounds amazing. These soft cakes are layered with milk and honey and have a delicious cream filling. They're the ultimate sweet treat to satisfy your craving. Oh my god. Ooh, this guy got a little bit smushed, but that's okay. Mmm, smells good though. It smells so good. Okay, it's like crumbly on the top. Um, it's kind of like, it's like a soft biscuit. I don't know how to explain that. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look appe it doesn't look that appealing because he has got a little bit squished, but that's okay. Hmm. 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 <laughs> that cream is really nice. Bread's a little bit weird. I'm a bit funny about texture sometimes, but the cream's like almost like a whipped marshmallowy kind of thing. Hmm. That's very good. Honestly, I have the sweetest tooth ever. I could just sit and eat this whole thing. Really nice. <laughs> After those bits and pieces, I could do with a drink. Ah! Oh! <laughs> okay, so this is party drink. Party drink lemonade. Wash down your tasty treats with a refreshing lemon fizzy drink. The perfect thirst quencher on a hot day. Oh, you know what? We're having a right heat wave in the UK at the minute. This is what I need. I shouldn't have chucked it in the air. I'll be right back. It's a good job we've not got flooring in yet. Okay, it just fizzed over a little. Okay guys, smells very lemonadey. I like it. Mmm, that's nice. Mmm, that's just like general lemonade. A little concerned about the color, but it's not bad, nice. The next question that I have is, what have you enjoyed most about the renovation? Obviously, like I say, we're still going. <laughs> but I really enjoy the painting because I think once it's been plastered and once it's been painted, that's when you see it all start to come together and you can really get your vision for how you wanna style it. And I am so excited to style it. Honestly, guys, you don't even know, like, there is no containing this energy. I'm just so hyped for it and I cannot wait 
spend stupid amounts of money on gorgeous furniture for my home. Okay, next item in our goodie box. I wanna try this one. It's got a monkey on the front. I mean, come on, who wouldn't wanna try it? Is it gonna be banana flavored? Probably, because it's yellow and it's got bananas on it. Let's consult the book. Okay, so this is Borovet's Monkey Cake Banana, a perfectly soft, sweet cake filled with creamy banana filling. They're loved by kids and adults alike. Oh, that is artificial banana smell. Ah, oh, it's a monkey. Look how cute that is. I'm not a big fan of like the banana flavoring and the cake itself is actually quite dense. It's not bad, but oh my God, that's sickly. <laughs> it's good if you're craving something sweet, I can tell that much but they definitely would get sickly. I cannot, I cannot with the banana flavors. <laughs> the next question I got was, how are you finding the current heat wave? And oh my God, I'm not coping. Guys, it's horrible. I do not cope in extreme temperatures, honestly. Anything that causes like a physical reaction, I hate it and I'm just, I can't cope in the heat. I can't, it's too hot, it's too hot. I just want a normal summer, I don't want a heat wave. <laughs> okay, next we have this guy. He kind of looks like a coconutty chocolate bar, so I'm kind of guessing it's gonna be. It is the Republica Coco. So it's another classic Bulgarian treat that brings back the taste of childhood for many. This mouth water no, no, no. This mouth-watering chocolate bar combines a delicious chocolate and coconut. I guess this is gonna be kind of like a bounty, like the UK coconut chocolate bar thing. Let's see. Mmm, that's way nicer than the Bounty. Mmm, that's good. I feel like with the Bounty you get like, the coconut's quite dry and like flaky. In that it's like really moist. Thin layer of chocolate. Mmm, that's really nice. Okay, I wanna try this, cause it's kind of just like a biscuit in a packet and then it's got like this sticker on the back. I'm just really curious to know what it is. Kinda looks like a boob. Oh, so this is a walnut cookie. Nothing beats a perfectly baked cookie. This Bulgarian cookie is filled with tasty walnuts. The perfect pairing with your favorite hot drink. They ain't gonna be drinking anything hot this weather. However, I will take a bite out of the cookie because I love cookies. Mmm. Oh my God, that smells so like nutty. Oh God, that's so fragrant. Feels very, very walnutty. Really, really nice. It really tastes homemade, which is so strange because you never get that, especially with like British sweets and treats. That really does taste homemade. Like there's actual walnuts in there and like it, the flavors throughout. It's really, really good. Next question is what kind of divination do you practice the most? And I would have to say that I practice probably tarot but then also like fire divination as well so you're like smoke reading flame reading controlling smoke like i really enjoy doing that i like control over something that's the aries in me i mean you've got to guess it right i think definitely a mix between the two i've really really like since moving and not having time to do much divination i've really actually missed my tarot cards which is really strange because i always just feel like they're like the staple like they're like the standard the base level and then you build up from there but I just really miss that and I really wanted to consult them for a very long time. Um, so I'll definitely have to do that soon. I also want to get back into doing runes because I used to do runes like ages ago and I've not done them for ages and ages and I really want to get back into it. Like I think they were just such a simple yet effective form of divination and yeah, I just think they're great. <laughs> Next goodie in the box looks like another cakey kind of item. So this is Medineka, so an extremely popular cake biscuit in Bulgaria. The Medineka is honey, honey flavored biscuit covered in chocolate. So lots of sweet things in this um, box and I am not sad about it one bit. <laughs> Here we go. This is our, ooh. Oh, that smells nice. Mmm. Mm. That's, that's really good. It's like, um, it always reminds me of like a ginger biscuit on the inside. It's very like ginger flavorings. It's almost like you get a lot of that like brown sugar come through. That's really what it reminds me of. And it's quite like 
it is like brown on the inside and I wasn't really expecting that. That's really sweet, really tasty and chocolate and like biscuit just very tasty. <laughs> I just found this in the box. And I didn't know we had like another thing and I was just like, oh, what is that weird like slug thing? But I think this is another treat. So this is a Chaika dessert. It's a soft fondant core glazed with chocolate. A truly classic Bulgarian dessert. Looks a bit dodged, but let's have a look at what it really looks like under here. Okay, so it's just like a chocolate thing. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not a fan of that. Ugh. That's not for me. It's gamey. <laughs> That really tastes like what I'd imagine a traditional Bulgarian dessert tastes like. But I swear all countries have like not very pleasant sweet treats that are like classics. I feel like that would be it. Okay, next thing we have is this. So this is Chernomorets Bar. Calling all chocolate orange lovers, these crispy wafers are covered with crushed peanuts and orange chocolate. Sounds nice. Anything to get the taste of that other sweet out of my mouth. And we'll have a look at our next question at the same time. So next question is, what do you want to learn next in Wicca? I'm really focused on learning more about Hedwitry at the minute, but I really want to improve like my herbal skills and herbal knowledge in terms of using them in spell work and cooking. Because the kitchen's been put in, I just can't wait to crack on with some baking and cooking and just doing so much more of that kind of stuff. Mmm. Mmm. This is really nice and a very generous size as well. It's not like overpoweringly orangey, but you can still taste it's there. This one's really, really tasty and I could definitely see myself eating more of these. I'm getting very addicted. <laughs> Next question was, how many more home reno videos will they be? Honestly, I don't know. I wish I could give you guys a number. It's just kind of as long as it takes and I was almost thinking of splitting it now that we're at a good base level into different rooms. I thought that might be a good way to do it rather than just show you bits of each room at separate intervals. Not too sure yet, but like I say, we've still got a way to go, so there's still going to be quite a few, but hopefully as soon as we get a few more bits sorted, I'm going to be able to focus more on my Wicca videos, because I definitely miss doing those for you guys. That's going to be my main priority on this channel, along with building this wonderful community for you all, so that's kind of what I've got planned and in the pipeline so far, but realistically, I don't know, I don't really have much of a plan, I just kind of go with the flow and whatever happens, happens, so... Our next item looks like another wafer. So this says on it, black and brownie. So the Mura black and brownie was one of the favorites on the list. This delicious chocolate wafer bar is layered with brownie flavored cream filling. Sounds amazing. Definitely not sick of these wafers, for sure. I was expecting it to taste a lot more of brownie rather than just, I don't know how to explain it, it's just like a chocolate cream or like that chocolate ice cream kind of flavour. Not really into that. It's still quite nice but I don't think I could get through a whole bar. And our last question and last item. So then we have this cute little purple one. This is Temenizuki. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to know how many names I have absolutely butchered in this video. From one of the oldest and most loved candy companies in Bulgaria, these candy drops are the perfect on-the-go snack. A hard candy with a violet licorice flavour. Oh god, this is going to kill me off because I hate licorice. <laughs> Our last question was, do you have any plans for Samhain? At the moment, not any strict plans. I'm kind of working on figuring out what I'm going to do in terms of a feast, a celebration meal. Um, I'm still going to do gift giving with my sister and probably give a gift to Blake too because I, I just love gift giving on a Samhain. Other than that, I've not got any plans just yet. I don't really know what's, I don't really like to plan too far ahead at the minute because I just don't know what's going to come come around and what's going to happen like later on. So I'm going to keep it open. This is what they look like. 
They are cute little flowers. That's Palmer Violet. <laughs> you know what? If you like Palmer Violet, you will love these. I can't stand it. I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it, it's gross. <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, there's always gonna be some that you don't like, right? So that was everything that we got. Can you believe how many different items we got in there? I just think that was amazing. And what I didn't actually realize was when you have the original box, you also get all the contents that's included in the mini box as well. Um, and then if you get the premium box, you get all of the contents in the mini box and original box, plus extra items as well. I mean, that's just fantastic. Like you get so much, that box is so deep and just full of goodies. There was definitely a lot more sweet items than there was savory, and it could probably do with being better balanced and probably have just equal amounts of savory and sweet. But then again, I also don't know anything about the common foods and snacks that you get in Bulgaria. So maybe that's just how it is. And they don't really have that many savory snacks. I'm not sure. Um, I really like the fact that you also got a drink included. I just think that's a really nice touch. Overall, I am so, so happy for everything that I got today. Honestly, thank you so much, Snack Surprise, for the, the lovely gift. It's been wonderful making this video for you guys and showing everything that you could potentially get as well. So I'll link all of the details down below if you guys are interested in looking into the Snack Surprise box and more. I say overall, very, very happy and yeah, I think I might go ahead and get another box for myself. So okay, that is the video for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here today. It's been wonderful making this video for you. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much for submitting your questions for my little Q&A as well. If you'd like to see another food related video or Q&A, then let me know down in the comments. Anything that you want to see, I am more than happy to do it for you guys. And I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Thank you for being here. Bye.